hi everyone so this is the next video in the series of solid principles and the next principle is the Liskov substitution principle at a high level LSP states that in an object oriented program if we substitute a superclass object reference with an object of any of its subclasses the program should not break that is the objects of the of a derived class must be substitutable for objects of the base class without affecting the correctness of the program so let's see and understand this with an example so let's head over to IntelliJ and let's create a program so we have the main class here let's start by creating a base class called shape let's define a function here called get area which returns a default value of 0.0, .0 for a geometric shape so public double get area which returns a value of 0 0.0 now let's create an object for this shape class and see if the program runs correctly so this is the object reference basically creating a variable of type shape and now creating the actual object using the new keyword using the object we will use the get area method so it returns an area of 0, 0.0 so our program runs correctly now let's create a subclass or a derived class which inherits from the shape class so let's call it circle which extends the shape class let's define a variable called radius and create a constructor where we will initialize the variable Now let's override the get area method for the circle class. We will provide specific implementation here since the area of a circle is given by pi r square. So now as per so we have created this subclass which inherits from the base class. So now as per Liskov substitution principle we should be able to replace the object of the base class that is the shape class with the object of the subclass or the derived class which is the circle class here but the object reference should remain the same so here the object reference is of shape class that is the base class so let's see if this works so we will replace this and we will create an object of the derived class that is a circle class and let's pass a value 4.0 and let's also rename the variable as circle and also provide some more information like area of the circle is and let's run the program So it says that area of the circle is this and let's just verify it so 22 by 7 into 4.0 into 4.0 4 which is almost same it says that i've taken 22 by 7 for pi here so this is the program is correct so this upholds the list of substitution principle because we have been able to replace the object of the base class which is the shape class with the object of the derived class but the object reference remains the same so 
let's see another example let's create another derived class called rectangle which extends the shape class and create two variables create another constructor to initialize the values of width and height and let's override the get area method so now let's create another object reference for the shape class let's name it as rectangle but we will create the object of the type rectangle that is the derived class let's pass on few values like width is 4.0 and height is 6.0 and let's print out the area so the area of the rectangle is 24.0 so this again works correctly we have been able to replace the object of the base class with the object of the derived class so now after going through the example we will again look at the definition that we saw earlier it says that at a high level lsp states that in an object oriented program if we substitute a super class object reference which was the shape class reference in our example with an object of any of its subclasses that is a circle and the rectangle the program should not break so since it did not break so it upholds the lsp principle that is the objects of a derived class must be substitutable for objects of the base class without affecting the correctness of the program so what is the key takeaway so lsp enables us to replace objects of a parent class with the objects of a subclass derived classes should be fully compatible with their base classes meaning they should honor the same contract that is the method signatures and behavior without introducing unexpected issues when they are used in place of their base class so this promotes code reusability flexibility and extensibility